Okay, guys, don't shoot, don't shoot. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people out there that are not a fan of Creed Aventus, and I know there have been so many Creed Aventus alternatives on the market. Look, what I'm trying to do today is I'm trying to compile a succinct list of 10 Creed Aventus alternatives that are not necessarily clones if you're looking for that particular fruity Shebra DNA, but maybe you want a fragrance that goes in a slightly different direction. Of course, this is the king, according to a lot of people. I'm going to be sharing my top 10 Creed Aventus alternatives with you in just a moment, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I tell you about these top 10 best Creed Aventus alternatives on the market, some might go darker, some fruitier, some soapier, some brighter, some zestier, so on and so forth. But I do want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It would really, really mean a lot to me. So Creed Aventus is a fragrance that I personally love. I've been wearing it since 2000. 2011. I know it came out in 2010, so maybe towards the tail end of 2010 or something like that. But this is a fragrance that I've had in my collection for a very long time now. I have owned over 10 bottles, including the Big Flacone. And of course, this is pineapple, apple, blackcurrant, you know, cedar, if I'm remembering correctly, vanilla in some batches, the vanilla comes across quite strong. The birch is a little smoky. Why does this fragrance get so much attention? Well, it's the most complimented niche fragrance for a lot of people out there. And when you take a gander at this list, you'll see why it's so popular that all of these brands have kind of put out their own version of it in one way or another. Now, I'm not necessarily suggesting that these are clones or anything like that. It's just that they are expressions of the fruity Shebra genre. So you can go ahead and feel confident wearing these as alternatives to Creed Aventus. So the first one that we're going to talk about is one of the most hyped fragrances of 2023 by Aaron Terrence Hughes. This one is called Supernova. Let me go ahead and put my Creed Aventus bottle down here. Supernova is an amazing Aventus-like DNA type of a fragrance. It's actually much zestier. I get a lot more lemon up on top. It's a lot brighter. The pineapple is there. It's juicy, but it takes kind of a back seat and it lets the citrus do their thing. The musk is also quite strong. It's not animalic. It's smooth. It's clean. Aaron Terrence Hughes is an amazing perfumer out of the UK. I love the guy. I'm so fortunate that I've had the opportunity to meet him and he's just super down to earth and I look forward to meeting him again soon. The next fragrance is by Bond number nine and this one is called The Scent of Peace for Him. Now there's one that came out slightly before this one called HTTP dedicated to the digital neighborhood. It had a QR code on the front. That's a really cool fragrance too. If you're looking for a candied like, you know, sugary saccharin fruity sweetness, I would recommend that one. This one has the current bud. So maybe black currant, red currant. So it's a little bit soapy as a matter of fact, and it's a little fruity as well, but fruity, not in a sweet way. The pineapple is still there. So it's juicy. It's ripe. But this one is a pretty strong deviation from the Creed Aventus DNA, especially if you do a side by side, which I actually did off camera here just a few minutes prior to shooting this video, just to make sure that I had my bearings. The next fragrance that I want to talk about, of course, this one is hugely popular. It has a lot of cedar wood and it has fruity notes in it as, as well. Cedrat Boise. A lot of people call it Cedrat Bois. So Cedrat Boise is an amazing Creed Aventus twist, if you will. This fragrance does have that juicy pineapple opening with the bergamot. There's a touch of vanilla in here as well, but it really prioritizes the cedar wood and also those fruity notes. And this is going to be a huge, huge compliment getter for you as well. I would go ahead and say, and I can say this very confidently as well, any one of these are going to get you tons of compliments the same way. Creed Aventus would. Of course, we have the Orchid Man by Frappant. I think this one is composed by Jerome Epinet. Don't quote me on that, but he's done a lot of, a lot of other Frappant fragrances and they are a cognac manufacturer. Well, this one is not boozy, but it does have a leather accord and it also has black pepper. So if you're looking for a slightly darker, spicier take on Creed Aventus without the smoke, I would recommend the Orchid Man. And it still has a decent amount of fruits. Now, here is a very polished version of Creed Aventus. Not as natural smelling, if I can say that much. This one by Mont Blanc is called Explorer. Now, this was a collaboration among several perfumers, and this is the designer version of Creed Aventus. Quite inexpensive, quite accessible, still has that same high compliment factor. Okay, so I lied. 
There is one clone in here. <laughs> what would you guys say is the number one Creed Aventus clone? Not an inspiration, not something that utilizes the DNA differently, but an actual clone. Pause the video, drop your comment down below. What do you think is the best clone of Creed Aventus? So the one that I chose to include in this video is Club de Nui Intense for Men by Armoff. You know how hugely popular this fragrance is. Everybody talks about it. Some people will go as far as to say it's a more lemony version of Creed Aventus. Of course, there's Al Haramain's La Venture. That one also gets a lot of attention. I remember way Way back in the day, there was Fresco by Ilum Dean. That one also was like a deconstructed version of Aventus. It really fell flat. The performance was really poor. But Club de Nuit, Intense for Men, of course, I've had this in my collection for so many years now. This is a huge compliment getter. It comes quite close to the original Creed Aventus. Now, here is a deviation. If you're looking for the darkest version of Aventus, Hachevat by Nishane. This fragrance, okay, has a lot of birch. This one was composed by Jorge Lee out of Istanbul, Turkey. And of course, Nishane is a brand that is based out of Istanbul. And this fragrance has a lot of birch. It has the pineapple, it has the bergamot, it has that fresh citric opening, but it has a lot of birch, which makes it smoky. And of course, we are going in a few darker directions now because we also have Orion by Tiziana Terenzi. This one is also a number of years old, such a beautiful and heavy bottle. This one has a lot of agarwood, so it has a lot of woods in the base, so it's a darker Crete Aventus, but in a woodsy direction. So just sort of something to keep in mind. Now there is a Crete Aventus alternative, which I have been loving so much as of late. And this one by the brand Mikalef is called Royal Vintage. This one also came out many, many, many years ago. The thing that I love about Royal Vintage is the fact that it has a lot of cypress in it. And it also has a lot of woods as well. Now, Orion is a little bit darker. It's a little bit earthier. Royal Vintage is a bit more green. So it goes more outside of that mysterious direction into like a gentlemanly direction. Orion is a little darker, enigmatic, more mysterious. And Hachevat, is borderline gothic, right? Because of all that smoke. And of course, this one is also quite playful. This one is very professional. This one is very smooth and elegant, the bow tie. And I think Cedrat Boise is pretty balanced, all things considered, and super long lasting because Mancera and Montal fragrances, their sister brands, they have a tendency of being beast mode performers. Look, the fragrance that I put in the number one spot, I think is going to serve you very well for the fall and winter. So that was my first rationale behind including it in this list and so high up in this list. Also, I do have a bit of a sweet tooth. So I like fragrances that veer in a bit of a sweeter direction. I also included this in the number one spot because like I said, this is a list of alternatives, not clones. And I think this fragrance portrays a very strong deviation from the Creed Aventus DNA in the sense that yes, it still has a bit of that fresh but it has an overdose of vanilla and it's a really sweet decadent warm gourmand vanilla I can't get enough of it I know everybody that has tried it has fallen in love with it you can just watch any number of reviews here on YouTube and everybody seems to sing quite high praise for this one all the links are gonna be down below by the way if you want to sample some of these fragrances I don't recommend blind buys but please get a tiny sample so you know what it's all about by Electimus London it's called Imperium so this fragrance has one of the most beautiful beautiful vanilla ingredients that I've ever tried in my life. Of course, there's Spiritu Double Veni by Guerlain. There's Note Veni by Mikalev. There's so many vanilla-based fragrances out there, you know? Even Jovoy has a really wonderful vanilla fragrance, but Imperium has that Crete Aventus vanilla <laughs> that some people look for, but it's amplified tenfold. It's so strong. It's almost borderline boozy. It's so good. Anyway, look, 10 Crete Aventus alternatives. What do you think? Are you a fan of Creed Aventus? Are you like me where you had about a dozen bottles of Creed Aventus throughout the years? I know in some of these Aventus groups on Facebook, these people have like a hundred bottles of Aventus. God bless you guys. Drop your comment down below. Let me know what you think. What is your number one Fruity Shebra fragrance? Or what is your number one Creed Aventus alternative? I would love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. I hope you took something of value from today's video. I hope I gave you the opportunity to learn about a new fragrance today. If I did, why don't you go ahead and show your support by hitting that subscribe button, hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It would mean so much to me. Thank you again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.